Hi, I am making this video for people who have purchased the 2022 graduate file that I have for sale on Etsy. This is a template that allows you to bring your own pictures into the background. Uh, it's great for t-shirts and lots of other things, but I tried to upload a tiny video here just to quickly show how to do this, but Etsy only allows about 15 seconds for this. so. You can't really see too much. So I'm going to go and do a more in-depth one to try to show you how I accomplish this because some people are having some difficulty understanding. I use Photoshop. You can use whatever program that you would like. The only issue is, is you have to be able to crop photos and some programs limit that. Um, so I am going to make a new canvas and sometimes I do 13 by 21. Today I'm going to do an 8.5 by 11. It depends what printer um, you're printing to. I do sublimation. But for this purpose, um, I'm going to show an 8.5 by 11 canvas. You want to make sure you are doing at least 300 DPI uh, for the best graphics. Um, all right, so when you download the file, you would have these two files come to you. This one you can see has a white background here blocking anything from peeking out from these numbers. This one is completely transparent. Some people have requested it, so that's why I'm including it. Um, there is no SVG included in this file at the time. Right now it's just a PNG picture, picture for sublimation. So you would grab this photo, pull it into your canvas, and I drop it. You can also go to File Open. I'm just a drag and dropper. That is how I like to do it. All right, so here is the picture. Here is my background. If I turn off my background, that would not print anyway. It's just white. Um, you would see that I left this blank. This is open for you. This is where the pictures will show through from. Um, if I did not put the white right here, your pictures would have to perfectly fit in here and that is going to be difficult to do if you're not the person who originally made this file so that's why i put the white here a lot of people ask why is there white you said it's a png it's supposed to be transparent it is it is transparent right here <clears throat> and i'll show you why it's like that all right so say i'm making it for a customer or myself and i have here four photos that i'm going to want to use let me bring in this one bring it here and I drop it and <clears throat> you're gonna want to have really good pictures big pictures but right now I only have these small ones just for the purpose of showing you I would not print these um, because it would not be a good quality for a t-shirt <clears throat> so your printout will only be as good as what you put in and here is my photo now it's on top I need it to be behind this template. Now you see how it is peeking through. In Photoshop, I would do Control P. That allows me to transform and scale my photos. So I want to put this somewhere where it's going to look the best. I am just going to go with right here for right now. Now, she's there, but the photo is still over here in this too. I need to get rid of that. So in order to do that, I am going to um, select my rectangular marquee tool. And anywhere where I am going inside of this too, or around the two, it can be here, here, however it fits. I let go. Now this is selected. The great thing about Photoshop is if I go over here and I select this clipping mask, it took it away. You see all this black right here? Everything outside of that box that I drew is gone. So I would just do this every single step of the way for each of my numbers. So let's say I want to do this picture now. Drag it and I drop it. <clears throat> I control P so that I can change this how I want. And I kind of like that right there. All right, click OK. 
and it's still going over into this box and I don't want that. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to draw my square around that. Come over here and click this nice little button and bam, it is gone. And I would do that for every single letter. And then you just do this for <clears throat> all of your customers that you have and you can do this over and over and over again. I have so many people downloading this file. This is definitely um, one of my best sellers right now. I have one up for 2023 because I've had some requests already. People want to go ahead and have it ready for next year. All right, so that is selected. Clip it. See how it just like jumped away? It was covering up this photo. Now, if you are not cropping photos, you're going to have a real problem getting it to fit <clears throat> and being big enough so where you can see. If you're not um, if you're not cropping them and you're only positioning them to where you know you say I don't okay I can't crop it so I'm only gonna go here. That's gonna you're gonna be limiting. So if, see how I'd have to slide it all the way over here to fit <clears throat> without touching over here. That's just not it's not gonna be well. So you're gonna have to find a way to edit your photos. A lot of people are trying this in Cricut and Cricut does not play nice with cropping photos. There is some tutorials out there <clears throat> on cropping photos um, in Cricut. I suggest you look some of those up and and see how to do that in that, in that program if you want to learn how. I do not know that program so I would not really professionally be able to tell you how to do that. Okay, but in Photoshop, it's just so easy. You can get a uh, subscription for $10 a month. Uh, that's what I have. And this file is ready to go. I could go to File Print and print this to my sublimation printer and press this on a shirt. It would be really beautiful. Um, you see how nothing's peeking out from the boxes. This would look really great. And on here, I show what it you know could look like on a shirt, on a tank top. So this is uh, a lot easier than what it looks like if you have the right software and tools to make it happen. So I hope this uh, helps some of you. If you need me to make the file for you, I can do that. I charge $10 and you can send me four photos and I can put them in here and I can make this file and email it back to you. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is available on my Etsy shop under Print Fanatics. I'll also include a link in the description below. Um, yeah, lots of uh, good reviews for this <clears throat> file. So yeah, good luck. And uh, if anyone needs anything custom made or anything, just feel free to reach out. Thank you.